Okay guys, we're just going to show you how to make a solenoid water valve assembly and connect it to wires um, so they're ready to connect within the Adoja platform. We sell these, um, but you can make your own if you guys want to try and save yourselves a little money. So all you really need is a solenoid valve. You can get these valves from the store as well without the connectors. Um, you're going to need a couple of, uh, you know, connectors that will adjust these and you can get all this stuff from your, your local hardware store. And then the way you do this is you're also going to need some, some adhesive heat shrink. This is a, a dual walled adhesive line heat shrink for uh, waterproofing and then um, some connector wire. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take these clamps here or connectors and you're going to want to crimp them on each end. Let's go ahead and get your crimpers. Make sure your wire's in and you've got good connection. So now once you've got your two heads mounted on, you'll just slide them onto your connector. And these are 12 volt solenoids. We're going to use a 12 volt power supply with our with this Adoja system. And so once you've got your connectors on, what you'll want to do is take your heat shrink and bring it up on the other end and just kind of slide it along, down, and up over on the edges. And this has uh, got glue along the inside lining as well. It's a dual walled heat shrink, so when you heat it up, it's almost like a really hard rubber. It'll uh, insulate that connection nice, real nice for us. So you want to get it up over the lip as much as possible. And there you go. We'll go ahead and get our heat gun and heat it up. Okay, so we've got our heat gun and we're just going to make sure that our heat shrink is aligned real well. So we're going to go ahead and start. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press down to get a good glue seal around all this. You want to be careful. This is, this is going to be really hot. So you always kind of want to put something in between your fingers. Some of the stick into that paper, but now it's kind of pushed down. And it cools off relatively quickly, so you can start to touch it. It's still hot though. So I'm just trying to get, there's a glue bond on the inside of this heat shrink. This is a three-in-one heat shrink. It's a double wall heat shrink with a glue adhesive layer on the inside to kind of waterproof it out. There you go. And let that dry. And this is the completed sub-assembly. So you can purchase these from our store.